Hello, this is Noreen Crown Findlay from CrownFindlay.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. This tutorial is about how to make a simple twisted cord. If you don't have a, um, a commercial cord twister, um, but you have a few other, in, you know, quick and cheerful tools around the house that you can use to make twisted cords. My website is chromefindlay.com where you can see my wonderful patterns and designs and ebooks and PDFs and things that are all available for purchase. TottyTalksCrafts.com is my blog where I post all the support material for these video tutorials. Twisted cords are just the most wonderful things. They make, oh, they're so useful. It's a really quick and easy way of making embellishments, trims, um, functional things like handles and um, straps. Also excellent for lashing things together, but also as, um, uh, you know, jewelry, uh, bracelets, um, necklaces, eyeglass cords, whatever. They're fantastic. And... They are very easy to make. If you have um, a cord making a twister, a fringe twister like this one, then yay, that's quick and easy. You're halfway there. There's lots of different kinds of uh, fringe twisters and cord twisters. I'm just going to grab a, a little drill I have. Um, you can take and put a cup hook in a hand drill and use that for turning your uh, turning your yarn to make a, a cord. But what if you don't have those? Well, I'm going to show you a way of using a, sim a simple, couple of simple things to make gorgeous twisted cords. Now, you need to have a way of holding the yarn in your hand so that it doesn't slow down while you're twisting. So a wooden spool or plastic spool, um, a cardboard tube from yarn or some other choice. Uh, here's a cardboard tube, tube from dental floss, um, a big wooden bead, a beautiful handmade bobbin, wooden bobbin that my husband turned for me and then I burned. And that's my favorite, so that's what I'm going to use. You're going to need to be able to pass a crochet hook through the center of it. So that, the crochet hook, a tube of some description, those are two things you need. You need some kind of a clamp, whether a spring clamp like this or a larger carpentry type spring clamp, you know, like this great, great big honker. For today's demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a clipboard as my clamp. So the clipboard works just great. Now I cut about 48 inches of several different kinds of yarn that I thought uh, twisted together would be very pretty. And so what you do is you fold it in half and put the ends, the raw ends, into your clamp. Either clamp it to a table or some other surface um, or a clipboard works great. Okay, now you take the, I'm going to push that out of the way and Take your crochet hook through your spool or bobbin or whatever it is you have, pull it up, and now snug the end, and just simply start spinning. Okay, you want a bit more tension on there than what I have. It's kind of flopping around. I need to move my... Um, clipboard away. The clipboard's going to come closer because as I twist, the cord is going to, of course, get shorter. You can use any um, length of cord that you want. I'm doing a very short cord because, of course, I need it to be shorter for uh, demonstration purposes. You can see here I'm starting to kink up. And so I'm going to just put a few more twists. The hook wants to fight back. And so now I'm going to say, good enough. That's enough 
uh, twisting. So I slide my loop of yarn down to the hook and now I slide the hook along and I'm going to take a hammer to use as a weight and I'm going to place it. I've got some serious backbiting little kinks here and I'm going to take I've placed the hammer at the fold of the yarn. I'm going to take these ends, lift them out. I will tug to make sure that we're as close as possible and let it spin. And when it stops spinning, you now have a gorgeous twisted cord. Tie a knot in the end. And voila, a beautiful twisted cord. Whoops, the, that end volunteered to go back in there. We don't want that. So a 48 inch length of yarn folded in half became 24 inches. Twisted and then folded again is now, including the knot, about seven and a half inches long. So there you have it, a beautiful twisted cord quickly and easily.